are so excited that you tuned in for Super City Online. We are busy making our way through Psalms at the moment. The Psalms teach us about what God is like. They teach us different ways we can speak to God honestly and about everything. The Psalms also teach us that we can worship Him no matter what we face. Every situation is an opportunity to remember how great our God is and that we can trust Him through anything. This week we will learn that God is the master builder. In Psalm 127 it says, If the Lord does not build the house, the builder's work is for nothing. We will learn that God knows what's really important. He knows what's best for us and what will last. We should put our trust in Him above everything else. You can download the PDF after these videos or during the week to engage in the lesson further. You will find some discussion points to follow and activities to have fun with together. Solomon was the son of King David and had grown to become a great king himself. Solomon was a very wise king and he did many great things. But the greatest work of Solomon's reign was the building of the house of God, which was called the temple. Solomon planned very carefully. That's because building the temple was very important work. It mattered a lot to Solomon. That's because his father, King David, had wanted to build the temple and had prepared for it by gathering lots of gold, silver, stone, and cedar. Solomon knew how much the temple mattered to his dad. He knew how much it mattered to God. So building the temple mattered to Solomon very much. He took great care to make sure everything was just right. The temple stood on Mount Moriah, which is the exact place where Abraham took his son Isaac to be sacrificed. The place where Solomon's father David had built an altar and the Lord appeared to him. This was a very important place designed for a very important task, building God's house. Cedar for the roof was brought from faraway lands, and all the stones for the building of the temple were chiseled and shaped and fitted together before they were brought to Mount Moriah and all the beams for the roof and the pillars of cedar were carved and made to join each other. This was so that as the walls arose, no sounds of hammers or chisels were heard. God's house was built quietly. Because building God's temple so that people could worship was so important to Solomon, he used the finest materials to build it. The walls were covered with pure gold. He decorated it with precious gems. Nothing was too good for God's house. It took King Solomon and his men seven years to build the temple, but at last, it was finished. When it was done, Solomon brought all the things his dad, King David, had gathered for the temple, the gold, silver, and other important items. Then he had the Ark of the Covenant brought to the temple where it would sit in a place of honor, in the house of God. Finally, Solomon held a great service to let the people know the temple was ready. Solomon's greatest work was complete. He cared about the house of God. He cared about worship. So God used Solomon to build his temple where people could worship the one true God. Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Today, I'm gonna build a tree house. Dun, 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 dun. Are you still busy building the tree house, Andrea? I am still busy building my tree house, Nariska. I think I bought a lot of wood and not enough screws. So you're meaning to tell me you don't have enough screws for the treehouse? Yep. Hmm. I don't think I know how to build a treehouse. I need help. I definitely don't know how to build a treehouse. But I do know people that can build. They're busy building our new church. Wow. So do you think that you could ask them to help me build my treehouse? I can go ask them. But wait, maybe before we go, join us for Super City. Oh, Super City, that sounds amazing. What are you guys learning in Super City today? Well, we're actually learning about building. No ways! The timing of that could not be more perfect. Yeah, in life we build all sorts of things, like bookshelves, tree houses. We even build friendships and reputations, like people trying to like us. So kind of like what I did with this tree house is, I kind of wanted people to see that I could build a tree house. Exactly that. So when it comes to building, like this tree house, we need people with the knowledge who knows how to build a tree house. But what do you do when you need someone to help you build your life? Well, think about it. Who created you? God the creator. Yeah, God is the ultimate builder. He builds everything. He even builds our lives. 
So sometimes people try and do it by themselves, but it fails, like the treehouse. But God can help us. I, for one, am so glad that I don't have to do this alone. I mean, I can't even build a treehouse, let alone try and build my life. I'm so glad that God goes before everything. He builds everything. God is the ultimate builder. So let's worship God together. God the builder, can he fix it? God the builder, yes he can! Staring into your eyes makes my heart come alive. Suddenly brought to life when I met you. Reaching beyond the skies, running deep, stretching wide. Perfect love realized here with you. Come on now. Now the stuff is for real, you will never let go, never let go. Oh, it's more than just words, love beyond my control, out of control. Yeah. 
God is the master builder. Psalm 127 says, If the Lord does not build the house, the builder's work is for nothing. God knows what's really important. He knows what's best for us and what will last. We can put our trust in Him above everything else. What time is it? Time to pray! 
Thank you, Lord God, that we are not working for nothing, Lord God. Thank you we can put our trust in you in everything we have, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, that we're not building, Lord God, on, on sand, but we are building on rocks, Lord. Praise in Jesus' name. We love you, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, kids. Thank you so much for joining us online this week. For more fun and activities, don't forget to download the document after this video. Stay safe, stay indoors, and we cannot wait to see you next week. Thank you.